What's going on guys, it's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Help, and Apple just held their annual WWDC event in San Francisco this afternoon, and Tim Cook and Apple announced the new OS X Yosemite. Now the main focus for Yosemite was on continuity and major UI improvements. Looking at this picture here, you can see it has that flat design, has translucent panels, and it gives it just a much more modern look than the current version of OS X. The dock is also improved, as you can see it's flat and just a new modern look to it. There's also a dark mode which dims the interface uh, so it gives you better focus while working. Notification Center also saw some improvements with the new Today view. The Today view basically just shows you all of the events scheduled for today and anything that uh, was going on or is set to go on during the day. You can also add third party widgets to the notification center such as Score Center or any others that are available to download, which is really cool and convenient so you can see you know, the baseball, football, basketball, whatever scores right from your notification center very easily. Spotlight also got a little makeover. It got redesigned and it also has uh, better functionality. It can, it can solve math problems. Um, it can, you know, it gives you instant web searches, Wikipedia, it can do equations automatically. So if you typed in uh, two miles, it'll automatically show you kilometers or whatever else, inches, whatever else you want to see, it will pop up instantly. Yosemite also introduced a Dropbox competitor. The Dropbox competitor is called iCloud Drive and it brings basically all your files in, I in iCloud, sorry, and it puts them right in your Finder file menu. Those files will sync across all of your devices uh, that has the iCloud account associated with it. The Mail app also got a little bit of redesign and a lot smoother look, uh, but it also got a new feature called Mail Drop. Mail Drop allows users to send and receive large files up to 5 gigs using iCloud. Safari also got a new design and better UI. It has a few new features added to the share menu, the RSS feeds, and a few other new options there in the share menu. Apple also claims that the new Safari runs JavaScript code faster than any other web browser on the market today. AirDrop is now compatible with OS X to iOS, so you can send files back and forth from your Mac to your phone or vice versa without the need of a USB cable. Another cool little feature that may go unnoticed is that you can actually have location awareness when sending an email or a text message. So if you're typing an email or text message on your phone, if you go onto your computer and up to the Messages app, that will pop up and it'll have what you typed in there. It's almost like a saved draft, but it's instantly saved and you can continue right where you left off on the email or text message. You can also take phone calls straight from the Mac now. So if you were getting a phone call on your iPhone, it will automatically prompt you on your Mac and you can actually answer it from the Mac and use the Mac as a big speakerphone. You can also dial calls from the Mac itself. So those are pretty much all the features for Mac OS X Yosemite. It is available today for developers and will be released to the public this fall. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out dailyifix.com. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, all that good stuff. And I will have coverage of all the other stuff announced at WWDC, which is pretty much only iOS 8. Um, I will have a video coming after that. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for when I download iOS 8 on my the iOS 8 beta on my iPhone 5, I will be bringing you uh, videos on, you know, actually using iOS 8 on a device, not just talking about it. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.